The governing party has time and again reiterated its support for the Zondo Commission. But yet, some of its high-ranking leaders have been fingered in part four of the state capture report. According to the report, businessman Edwin Sodi made payments of over 300,000 rand to ANC Treasurer General Paul Mashatile, over 6 million rand to former Health Minister Dr. Zuelim Kize, and 45,000 rand to Labour Minister Tulas Nguesi. Other payments were over 170,000 rand to Deputy Intelligence Minister Zizi Kodwa and 170,000 rand to then Communications Deputy Minister Binki Kekana. A four-member task team of the ANC is expected to discuss the reports, process the recommendations regarding its senior members and refer them to the party's highest decision-making body. We have established a task team of the African National Congress uh, led by Comrade Jeff uh, to assist in the formulation of ANC responses uh, to um, uh, different installments that the, the commission will be issuing. I'm sure once they have advised the organization on their own uh, reading of the latest installment, the organization will be able to more fully uh, express itself on that. Minister Ngaisi refuted suggestions that he personally benefited from the businessman Edwin Sodi's 45,000 rand payment. Chief Justice and Chairman of the State Capture Inquiry, Raymond Zondo, said the transaction opened Ngaisi up to suspicion that he may have received the money in his personal capacity. But Ngaisi maintains that the money was used to assist underprivileged students with their education. I told the public that 30,000 was given to two kids. And it's true that I was fundraising, talking to a number of people. And 15,000 was given to another kid, a former general secretary's kid. And all those monies were paid directly to those schools where they are or where they were studying. And I was approached by their mothers who had problems and I've said, I'm ready to uh, cooperate with the law enforcement if there's something. But if there's evidence of anything which was dropped in my account, or if those kids are my relatives, I think people should even do uh, more investigations. Meanwhile, Deputy Minister of State Security Zizi Kodwa rejected the commission's findings that he was beholden to businessman and former EOH executive, Yahan McKay. I don't think we should just accept things because we are worried, uh, because the other perception, which we are not saying, is that the Commission has found anything wrong on my part. The Commission hasn't. And how do I live with that? With clear conscience that the Commission, clearly in this report, does not find anything of corrupt activity or criminality on behalf of this quarter. And then it makes this recommendation. It's not something that I should just live with it because I'm worried about 2024. I think it's incorrect here. Zondo found that the ANC had given control of ESCOM to the Guptas, who were instrumental in ensuring that the likes of Brian Molef and Anoj Singh were given key positions at the power utility. He says the governing party should be ashamed that this happened under its watch. Meanwhile, part five of the report is expected to be released in mid-June. Natasha Piri, SABC News, Johannesburg.